Chris and McLaughlin hope to make a postseason run with Purdue basketball. Instead, the Homestead grads back home in Fort Wayne trying to make the most of her time here. McLaughlin still able to work on her game for now with some help from her little sister, Kendall. It's nice, but the Boilermaker Junior can't help but think about what could have happened with their team. We were going to have a chance to watch a wash party. Um, we were still practicing. We had our banquet, and we didn't realize that the banquet was going to be the last time we saw each other. Um, and then that week, that Thursday, we got the news that the NCAA tournament was canceled. All sports are canceled from practicing, playing. McLaughlin says she does enjoy getting to spend more time with her family. She still wants to get back to Purdue soon, though, and get ready for a senior season that hopefully gets to happen without any any major hurdles. Chris is not the only local player making a big impact in the Big Ten. Earlier this week, we caught up with Nebraska forward and DeKalb grad Leah Brown. Brown won our ABC 21 Girls Basketball Player of the Year award back in 2018. Another great run with the Cornhuskers leads to another big award, the season's sixth player of the year in the Big Ten. Leah wanted to keep working on her game out in Lincoln, but those plans had to change. The Big Ten committee ended up canceling all the postseason workouts um, until at least April 6th, and then they're going to meet again and um, see if we can get back to campus and get anything done. But it sounds as right now that we're going to be done for the year. Dad and I will probably do some workouts out in the driveway and with the ball and just, yeah, I go from there. Brown says she'll focus on improving her defense and ball handling this offseason. She also wants to step into a larger leadership role during her junior season. 